was curious about capacitive touch sensors, so I was reading up on them on microchip.com's application notes, and there was one article, a couple articles actually, that mentioned you could just use an ADC and nothing more and along the digital converter. So let me show you real quick. That's all I'm doing. Let me describe the circuit row here. On the left, there is this stack of LEDs represents a 10-bit number. This microchip, this uh, microcontroller has a 10-bit ADC on it, and what the app pro the uh, code that's running on here is doing is it's reading that ADC input, sampling it 2,500 times, and selecting the maximum value and displaying it to the uh, to this readout. So it's just a full 10-bit number here. This is least significant bit and most significant bit. And right here we have a one mega ohm capacitor or resistor <laughs> tied to the ADC, bringing it to ground. And you'll notice right here, this big guy is a 10K resistor, which is keeping my M clear high, which is what's needed to keep this chip running. You need to pull this pin high. And what's happening is the breadboard itself is acting as a capacitor, where this rail is positive, and the ADC rail is actually acting kind of as the negative. And you can see that the circuit, the breadboard itself, and potentially the traces within the microcontroller, uh, as they run parallel to each other, has a capacitance which reads out here at a value of 4. Uh, that's out of 1,024, so it's pretty low. Now, as I touch the circular pad over here, this pad is just a coil of wire, nothing else. You can see the readout. It's very obvious that I'm touching it. Now, as I said, this is just a coil wire. It's just that simple. And you notice, I don't even need that. I can just touch this wire. But see how it only gets one green? Whereas when I use this pad, I get a higher readout value. Oops, if I put it in the right hole, I get a higher readout because there's more surface area to act as a capacitor. Now I notice something interesting. If I touch the lead of this one mega ohm resistor, look at that. Look how strong that readout is. I'm tripping the most significant bits up here. That's nearly five volts of in this reading. So if I remove this wire completely. All I have to do is touch this lead. Here, I'm pretty sure my skin's actually acting as a dielectric, so it's incredibly thin compared to going through all the rubber that's on this wire. So, do you need to even pull yourself to ground? You don't. Look at this. So this is the simplest capacitive touch sensor I'm aware of. It's just a wire going into an ADC next to a line that's pulled to 5 volts. I'm just touching the insulation. Now watch what happens if I pinch the exposed copper. Just touching it. You can see I'm lighting it all the way up. If I pinch it, you can see every LED is lit indicating there's 5 volts of capacitance. And there you have it. The easiest capacitive touch sensor to build with a microcontroller.